We're going to age. I have five tips to help you look and feel younger long. <laughs> Just what you feel. I think is very very important and I put it as number one okay and that is eliminate stress you have to eliminate stress stress will make you look older and feel older okay you have to eliminate negative people sometimes you have to almost eliminate even people in your family that is always negative bringing up your past or you get around them you feel sad you feel less than a person this can be your friends family or whoever if you do not eliminate people places and things that stress you out then you will begin to look older and feel older. And you'll wonder why, well, now, like what's going on? Why do I feel like this? Start examining yourself, you know, start saying, hmm, when I get around this person, I feel like this. Or when I go here, I feel like this. If you are around people and they are just stressful, they always have some kind of drama going on, you need to eliminate that. As we get older, like I'm 52 years old, I do not need to have any stressful situations in my life. Now, I'm not talking about marriages and things like that. You know, if you are in an abusive marriage or relationship, that's a whole nother level and a whole nother topic for another day. However, I'm talking about the simple things that we can just eliminate easily. Like, you know, sometimes I know it seems hard, but if you have a friend that you feel like it's that's jealous of you, always putting you down, family member always putting you down, saying something, doing something to bring you down, when you're even in a great mood, then you need to reevaluate your friendship. You know what I'm saying? Your relationships with these certain people and remove it. Remove any situation, person, places, or things that stress you out. I cannot say this enough. Eliminate that stress. Number two, move your body. We have to exercise. Now, if you are healthy enough to actually do physical exercise, like walking, just move your body. If you cannot maybe walk up and down the stairs or walk down the street, move your body, stretch. Make sure you just move in some kind of capacity. Moving your body. My mom is always telling me that when I, you know, she's here, she's trying to do things. And I'm like, Mom, you know, you don't have to do that. Just relax, relax. She, she's like, look, I need to get up and move my body. If I don't move my body, I'm just going to lay here and go to waste. And I get it. So you do. You have to move your body. St stay active in some kind of capacity. You know, you have to stay active in order to feel younger and look younger. You have to just move that body. Number three, the third tip for your skin, use serums, use moisturizer, use skincare products that have anti-aging properties in it like hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, retinols and retinase. You have to use products that actually help replenish your skin. As we age, we lose that collagen and elasticity in our skin and our overall body. You have to find products just for your, your face as well as your body that, have, that has active ingredients to keep your skin looking fresh and healthy and plump. I always talk about exfoliating your skin, removing that dead layer of skin from your face. You also have to exfoliate your body as well. So find products, and I'm going to put a list of products, some of my favorite skincare products as well as face and body to help keep your skin looking healthy and vibrant. That's very important. Very important to actually use skincare products that's for your skin and your skin type. Tip number four is very important as well as we get older, even when you're younger, but especially when you're getting older, you have to eat right. And I know it's hard. As you get older, sometimes you just want some of the things that you want, but your body cannot digest it like it used to. Your body cannot retain some of those foods that we used to eat and we could get away with it. We can't do that anymore. You know, I've noticed, even with myself, there's food that I absolutely love. I love pastas, spaghettis, and pastas, and things like that. Oh, and my body is like, uh, no. 
<laughs> we can't do that anymore. I'm like, what? <laughs> I love spaghettis and pastas, but the tomatoes now gives me that acid reflux. And I'm just like, where's this coming from? You mean to tell me I cannot eat this? I have to limit my consumptions. You know, I can't eat it like I used to. I may can have a little bit, but not eat it like I used to. I love pastas and breads and potatoes and things like that. You know, I have to eat it in moderation. I can't just consume them all the time. I mean, there was a time in my life, in my 20s, that's all I used to eat, pastas and breads. And I just love like Olive Garden Carabos all of that but now i have to limit it <laughs> i can't eat pastas every time i go to restaurants i have to have like salads more just eating healthy you know find the foods that you can eat you know that do not give you indigestion or acid reflux that you can actually digest you know that will not bother you and gas you up <laughs> there's products foods now that i'm just like i cannot believe i have issues now when eating these products, it, it really bothers me. But you have to suck it up and realize I'm not in my 20s anymore. I'm not in, even in my 30s. I'm not even in my 40s. Wait. <laughs> I am in my 50s, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I have to think like, what? I am not 20, 30, 40s, and 50. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes it's a shock to the system, honey. But <laughs> you have to know what you can do in this stage in your life you have to kind of know what to do you know sometimes it's a shock to the system but you can do it so you have to learn how to eat right according to your body I cannot eat like I used to so I'm learning now like I'm doing the intermittent fast and I see I see that that's working for me I have to get used to it certain times you can eat and then there's times you have to cut it off I can't eat all night like I used to I can't eat at 12 o'clock at night and feel good in the morning honey there was a time I used to do that. I used to go out on dates at 12 o'clock at night and we would just go, let's go out and eat 12 o'clock a.m. Now, let me go out and eat 12 o'clock a.m. I'm going to regret that the next day, so I can't do that anymore. So, long story short, let me stop because y'all know I can ramble. I can keep going on and on and on. Number four, eat right. Start having a healthy balance diet. Tip number five is very important to me as well. Learn to celebrate yourself, okay? Sometimes we are so hard on ourselves that it causes us stress. It causes us anxiety because we are just so hard on ourselves, how we look, what we do, how we act. Sometimes it's just great to celebrate you. Learn how to love you in this stage in your life right now. That is very important. Learning to love yourself is just very vital. Just not for, not just for everyone else. You just need to learn how to love yourself. You will see a big change when sometimes you just take out time to celebrate you. I don't care. It's sometimes if you feel like I don't have enough time to celebrate me. You know, when I say celebrate you, it's, it's, you don't have to do anything big. Do something that relaxes you. Take a nice, hot bath you know what i'm saying just a bubble bath where you just listen to your jazz music maybe if you like wine drink your glass of wine and just relax okay that is your time that's celebrating you read sit down somewhere where you have a little bit of time and read a book you, if you used to read all the time and then you don't find you seem like you don't have the time to read like you used to Schedule you some time, read your book or whatever it is that you do that makes you feel important for yourself. Go out and buy you something. You know, if you see something, you say, you know, I'm always, sometimes we're always doing things and buying things or just doing things for other people that we never take time out to buy yourself something and say, hey, you know what? You know what, Stephanie? That's my name. You know, I love you. Let me go buy you something. Let me, I don't care if it's something simple. Something simple. It can be something like a pair of earrings. You know, I've been wanting these. I want these earrings. These are so nice. Do little things for you. Uh, buy lipstick for yourself. Buy you a pair of shoes. Watch. You know, whatever it is, sometimes take time out to just celebrate you. You know, sometimes we work so hard and we never take time out to just buy yourself something. 
That's very important. My mom taught me that. You know, she says, you know, you work all week long. She taught me this years ago when I was in my 20s. You know, when you work and you paying your bills, you pay, you know, you're paying this bill and that bill. Sometimes pay yourself. Pay yourself a little something so you can have something to go in and spend on you. If you do not love you and take time out and celebrate you, then who will? It's up to you to celebrate you. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this video is helpful, especially when it comes to looking and feeling younger. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for just taking time out to watch this video. I can break it. Peace and love until next time. Will you say goodbye?